It's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. We continue our rheumatology playlist, and today we'll compare between Jogren syndrome and Sika syndrome. Are they different? Are they the same? If they are not the same, are there any common features between them? This is what we will discover today, so let's get started. But first, I have a survey. I'd like to know your opinion, please. So just click on Medicosis Perfectionalis and then you'll find tabs. Just click on the community tab, you'll find the survey. Choose out of those three subjects, which one would you like to see more in the month of May? Since today's video is a comparison, you'll find it inside a playlist called Comparisons. I have more than 30 of these. Also, until the end of the month, my cardiac pharmacology course and my antibiotics course are on sale. The price will go up in the next month. So please go to medicosisperfectionalist.com. Thank you. Jogren syndrome versus Sika syndrome. What's the difference? Jogren is a clinical triad. Look at this. Dry eyes, dry mouth, and arthritis. But even your grandma can say that. Would like to be more sophisticated to the point of being stupid. Do not say dry eyes. Say Keratoconjunctivitis sicca. Sicca means dry. And please don't just say dry mouth, say zero stomia. Zero is dry, the stoma is your mouth. If you remember biology, the leaf, the leaf was like this, and it had pores. What was the name of the pores? Stomata, because a stoma is a freaking mouth. And then arthritis is arthritis. It's an inflammatory freaking arthritis. Can the ESR and CRP be high? Yes, they can. That was Jogren. How about Sika syndrome? Sika syndrome is not a triad. It's just a dyad. Dry eyes, dry mouth. That's it. There is no freaking arthritis. Also, you can add dry vagina, chronic bronchitis. The same things will be found in Jogren syndrome. But what distinguishes Jogren from Sika syndrome is that Jogren has arthritis, Sika does not. So here is Jogren syndrome one more time. Keratoconjunctivitis Sika, xerostomia, inflammatory arthritis, dry eyes, dry mouth, arthritis. And now let me show you epicmonic about Jogren's. We did the same thing with gout in the previous video. So here is the epicmonic of Jogren syndrome. Jogren is an autoimmune disease, autoimmune. Here is an auto, automobile, on a moon, on the moon surface. Next, Jogren, zero stomia, zero phthalmia, and arthritis. Here is a zero in your mouth, because your mouth is dry. And here is a zero in your eyes, because your eyes are dry. And then arthritis, here is King Arthur. The antibodies are represented here by ants. Anti-SSA, anti-SSB, Schirmer's test to measure the tears. Jogren is associated with lymphoma, so here is lymphoma. If you want to strengthen your memory, use your memory. So let's practice recall. Jogren syndrome is autoimmune. There was a car here on the surface of the moon, so it's autoimmune. We have a triad. Dry eye, dry mouth, and King Arthur for arthritis. Remember the antibodies. We had anti-SSA and anti-SSB. Remember that Jogren is associated with freaking lymphoma. Bingo! We got it, baby. What kind of lymphoma is it? Usually a maltoma, mucosa-associated lymphatic tissue lymphoma. And we have talked about this lymphoma in my glorious hematology oncology playlist. After you finish the picmonic, you have questions. So here is the quiz. You can even edit the current picmonic and you can even create your own picmonic at picmonic.com. See the link in the description. Which of the following tests is most likely to confirm the diagnosis of Jogren syndrome? And the answer here is salivary gland biopsy. But here is a very big difference between rheumatoid and Mr. Jogren. Rheumatoid affected the major salivary glands, major but Jogren affects the minor salivary glands. And that's why to diagnose Jogren, you need to biopsy the minor salivary glands. So please do not say, oh, I will biopsy the sublingual or the submandibular glands. No, 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 baby, these are major. We need to biopsy the minor because Jogren affects the minor salivary glands, such as what? Such as the salivary glands in your beautiful lips. So you take a biopsy from the lip. What would you find under the microscope? You will find chronic focal lymphocytic sialadenitis, which is a chronic inflammation of your salivary glands because they get destroyed by these nasty autoantibodies. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to pickmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionators, where medicine makes perfect sense.